Oh, welcome to your destination, Jess. Anyway, today I have an elf haul for you, which I promised was coming, and um, I just did my NYX haul, I know that, but yeah, so it did come a while ago and I have used a lot of the stuff like a couple of times already, so I can give mini reviews on some of the products. Um, but I don't want this video to be massively long because I do have a few things and I also have to get back home very soon. I've got to drive an hour so I have to be somewhere. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> One of my favourite purchases of the haul is this highlighting palette. Um, it's like a cream highlight, it's called a shimmer palette. And it's got four shades, a white, a pinky, like a light baby pink a champagne and then a more deeper pink. As you can see it's got finger marks in some of them from me using it and I absolutely love this. It is so creamy to just blend out on your cheekbones. I do have the white shade on now. I don't know if you can tell, kind of. Um, and it's just, it's so pretty. They're just the perfect shades. You have one for like any look. You can just literally pick one to go with everything and it's just, it doesn't like a lot of highlighters on me, they just sort of like stick and you just see like a line. But this really blends out and just looks so like, just flawless I guess. Oh, and not to mention it has a little mirror in there, so that's pretty cool. Don't really know what the weird brush is for, but oh well. Another highlighter I got, sticking to the theme of highlighters, is, well it says it's a blush. If anyone possibly wears this as a blush, you're insane, because it's white, that's not a blush. But anyway, it is a highlighter, I guess. It's just in their blush range, just their normal blushes, I believe. Um, it's called Got a Glow. So, Glow is a highlight, I guess. And it's just a really pretty, yellowy, champagne y, goldy highlight. And this one also, it's a powder, but it just blends so seamlessly and it's so pretty. It just looks really good with almost everything. Bit disappointed in this next one only because I'm not really having luck with eyebrow products because um, my NYX haul last time, remember it was orange? Well this one, it's fine, like the product itself is really good like the last one but I just wish I had got a darker shade, it's too light so it doesn't really look like it's filling in my eyebrows at all um, but that was because on the website it had weird showing, like it showed you the colours in a really weird way and they all looked the same. So I just picked the lighter one because normally eyebrow products are quite dark. So I didn't want to go for the next one in case it was too dark, but I should have. Um, so it's got the gel wax bit and the powder and I mean I can use it, oops, drop the brush. I can use it when I just want a really natural eyebrow, just literally filling in where my natural hairs are. But as far as shaping them, if you want to make a bit of a shape, it's too light to look natural. So Next, I got this purely because it was $1.50. Don't really need it. I do have it on. It's a um, bronzer, healthy glow bronzer, and it is very shimmery and glittery. So I've used it to sort of warm up my cheeks a little bit. Um, not for contouring and that kind of stuff, but it's really nice. It comes out a lot on your brush, kind of, but it doesn't come out too much on your face. So it's really good for beginners and it's easy to blend and that sort of stuff and you can really build it up. And this is what it looks like. Out of breath. I don't talk this fast normally. Next, I got this because I've been looking for a bright classic red lip stain everywhere and I can't seem to find them anywhere. So I just bought this one to try. It didn't have the best reviews online. Um, it's got a lip stain at the end here which is kind of... It's not the lip stain I was after, I was after like a, a literally like the watery stuff that stains your lips. This is more of a liquid lipstick that sets and stains a little bit and you've got the clear to put over the top and it is true, this bit stains very well by itself but as soon as you put the uh, clear on the top it like smears and bleeds and all that kind of stuff but if you just wear that by itself it is a, a nice product. That's the colour there. Kathleen Lights has said that she doesn't like these um, blushes, the ones that look like the NARS packaging, but I quite like them. That's what the highlight was, it was one of those, these ranges, and it's fantastic. And this one I got, it's like a mauvey shade, mauvey dusty rose purpley colour, and that's kind of my favourite lip colour and blush colour, so it does, it's really buildable as I said, it doesn't come out too much, it just, it's really easy to work with. 
and it's just such a pretty colour too. Forgot to mention the colour of that one, it's Mellow Mauve and, whoops, oh god I'm dropping everything. The bronzer was Sun Kissed and that was the, okay it doesn't have a number. And the eyebrow kit was Ash and the lip stain is in red carpet. So I got three of the single eyeshadows, the elf single eyeshadows. Again, I think it was because they were like a dollar fifty or something. Um, so I was like, why not? I was gonna get all of them, but a lot of them were sold out from the range. So I got Saddle, which is a dark shimmery brown with a bit of a purple undertone. And then I got Wild Wheat, which is like a a goldy, torpy beige colour with a bit of shimmer. And then I got Buttercream, which is more of a, a yellowy, beige type colour. So I'll just show you now. This one is Wild Wheat. I don't know if I'm overexposed because it's on manual. I fiddled with the settings. <laughs> and that one is Wild Wheat. Did I just say that was the last one? I meant Buttercream for the last one. I'm not sure if I said that. And this one is saddle. Now next these came in a little box pack. Oh that's another thing, sorry I forgot I had something else I just spotted it. Um, so these ones came in a box pack or like a pack thing. It's got your liquid liner, just a black liquid liner which I am really liking these. When I first tried it I didn't like them because well I really liked it to do the just the lining your lashes but when it came to the wing I found it kind of a bit hard. And I really don't know how because now it's like the easiest thing ever to do a wing with. So I really love these. They don't have the best staying power. They do kind of fade a little bit, but they're good enough for like a night or something. Um, so it came with that. A brown coffee, I think it's called. Um, just an eyeliner pencil and then a black eyeliner pencil in... I don't know if these have shades, like colours. I don't think they do, but it was like a coffee, brown and a black. And all of these pencils come with their own little sharpener, which I have here, just a plain white kind of thing, standard. And so I went and bought this um, eyebrow pencil in gold, not eyebrow pencil, what the heck, eyeliner pencil, and it's just literally a gold eyeliner pencil. Now I got these two to try, they're the Jumbo Eyeshadow Sticks and I got one in a dark brownie colour called Turkish Coffee and a black called Midnight Rendezvous, Rendezvous, yeah that's it. Um, so they kind of look like this little sticks with the crayon bit at the tip. Now I'm kind of disappointed in these, like I really don't know how to explain it but when you put it on the... I used it to like darken up the core outer corner of my eye, a little outer V. I used this one once and it just like, I put it on that eye and it was kind of fine. And then I started putting it on this eye and like the more you tried to draw it on, the more it disappeared. I don't know how to, I don't know, it just, it literally like kind of rubs itself off as you're putting it on, it's bit like mainly if you have other eyeshadows on underneath it. So I don't really know, maybe it's probably best just to use for like an under eyelash shady thing, I don't know. Um, I'll get use out of them, but I wouldn't buy them again. Also, I got one of those liquid liners in the brown shade called Coffee. That's where I got that word from before. Um, and this one I really love because it's more of a natural eyeliner, natural wing. I really like just the brown as opposed to the black. It's just a slight bit less intense, which I also have on right now. And finally, I got some eyelash curlers because I don't have any and I don't know why. And kind of actually I do know why because I don't use them and I don't really know why I bought them but they were cheap. I think they are like 6 or $8 or something. Um, so I can curl my eyelashes if I feel the need to. So that is everything I bought. I hope it was helpful, maybe gives you some tips on what to buy. Just another thing actually before I forget, a little review on these singles eyeshadows. Um, you do, they do work, oh my gosh, oh, I just remembered two more things that I bought, okay, I'll just finish this, <laughs> they work better with a spray, like I know a lot of people use the MAC Fix Plus spray, like a setting spray, but I bought the e.l.f. setting spray, which I will grab, 
And so it's the Makeup Mist and Set with aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. And that's really good. I'm actually going to use some right now because I forgot that I have it. And I'll see what it's like. Yes! It was really nice. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. Um, and I also bought this. Elf brush shampoo which I desperately needed because I don't clean my brushes hardly ever and it is really good it works a treat um, just as an example this used to be brown on the tips and now it's back to white so it's really good it doesn't doesn't make things stain let me put that away um, yeah so back to these they they don't come out that pigmented but they do come out very pigmented with a spray like that on your brush just spray your brush dip it in then put it on and it works a treat so for realsies this time, thanks for watching. Hope that I gave a little helpful hip. Hope it gave some helpful tips on what to buy, what not to buy. Maybe it gives you an idea of what they even have. You might not know what else sells. That's the Australian um, version. There's a lot more option in the American website, but they don't ship to here, unfortunately. So please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below anything that you think I should try if you have tried it, or nope got nothing else uh please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me and i will see you in my next video bye